Right, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to live st stream Call of Duty World at War with XSplit. Uh, Alright, so let's get started here. You can locally record too with it, but that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so what you do first, obviously load up Call of Duty World at War. Waiting, waiting. All right, so it should not. I just dragged Expo over into my other screen here, uh, so it's easier for you guys to see. Um, you should not see Call of Duty World at War like this. You should see it full screen, so you should see it like all. You should not be able to see the taskbar here uh, or not anything else. It should be a full screen page, and you'll see there if you go into graphics. There is no whatever windowed mode, but that's what we need to get in, get the game in, which mine is in right now. So there's a couple ways of doing this. I'm just going to show you the uh, in-game way. You go to, oh yeah, game options, enable console. That's going to default no. I'm pretty sure it's default no. You're going to want to enable it to yes, and click apply, which will be right here. So bam. Uh, then you want to go to your main thing press the tilde key, which is well I'm pretty sure it's called tilde uh, top left corner of the keyboard uh, Right under the escape key just press that that old thingy will pop up and you're gonna type slash F underscore full uh, wait is it slash F Ooh, sorry slash R underscore full full screen Alright, so by default that is going to be one. There's not going to be one there. Just type that in. Uh, I don't know why that just erased. But uh, it's going to be whatever. You want to click zero. And then, so that will mean no. You know, and then press enter once you type all that in. Um, one, one means uh, yes, it is full screen. Zero meaning it's not in full screen. It's in windowed mode. And then you want to type in slash vid underscore restart um yeah but just restart if you press the arrow key down you can go down there uh yeah so slash vid restart make sure you got the slash in front of it uh so once you do that i'm not gonna do it just because i already did so then here we go bam window mode okay so you're happy uh hopefully <laughs> uh so just press tilde or if you did fears if it start it should be up there so you can click options to control options and controls uh click graphics and you pretty much want to get this window as big as you can without making it go down below your screen uh your taskbar here that is not good that is not what we want so uh if you have a whatever a screen that is bigger than this like i have a i have a 1920 by 1080 so this is the biggest 16 by 9 resolution that I can go uh, without it clipping down. Uh, if your screen is smaller, uh, the next lowest uh, down that I would do is uh, is this. Uh, those are pretty much the two settings. This is still HD right here. Anything lower this than that is not considered HD. Um, but I'm just going to go back up to my that that is in the same aspect ratio as HD so I'm just going to go okay and um, apply that so then it will go bam okay it should or should not depending if you change anything it'll resize your game I didn't change anything so it did not resize my game so I'm just gonna drag over XSplit again and okay so now we have XSplit over here I'm pretty sure you will not be able to see this but you click add Oh, you'll be able to see this part. You go add screen region. And when I click this, a uh, little crosshair will pop up and it'll make my whole screen gray. And it'll show little red outlines depending on where I clicked on with the cursor thing. So you can just go right into this window and click once with it and it'll create a new screen. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So screen region, I'm not sure if you can see this or not. Again, so I'm just going to click right in there with it. Okay, so now you can see I have this new thing. So it's Call of Duty in process so then I just drag it 
make it the full size of the thing. I can I, now I can drag XSplit onto my other screen, or I can minimize it. Either or. Uh, I'm just gonna drag it onto my other screen. So now you pretty much did that. So I guess that is all I have on this tutorial. Um, okay. Uh, I guess that's it. Bye.